what's up guys welcome back to my channel and of course if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by i'm Jocelyn michelle the nostalgic 90s baby and i'm a doll collector i collect dolls from the 90s as well as the early 2000s um i collect mostly barbie and a little bit of rainbow high but today i want to be showing you guys something different from my collection um something that i'm very proud to have but um i never show so i'm just gonna be um showing you guys these in sync uh well, let me get this in the shot <laughs> in sync on tour uh collector's edition dolls they're the marionette dolls from the year 2000 um yeah so i just want to show you guys because i had them for a little while but um i don't know why i never really showed them because i no mostly put barbie and stuff on my channel but uh this is i like early 2000s memorabilia as well so different boy bands or girl groups and stuff like that so that's something i want to slowly start introducing into my channel so if that sounds interesting to you guys definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see more but uh yeah let's just go ahead and get a little bit of a rundown of the dolls that i have here and um they're not open and they're all still in the box so i don't know if i'm going to be open any of them but i just wanted to show you guys a little bit maybe i'll open one just to do, like just to show but i don't know if i should because i don't uh, i don't really believe these are gonna be like super super because it's already been like 22 years and they just they're not really that expensive or necessarily hard to come by so i don't really know that i'll be making that much money if i just keep them in the box but you guys let me know if you think i should just if i should open them or if i should leave them in the box anyway so of course uh first we have joey here this is his little outfit that he has it is um black and it has these like fuchsia and gold pockets and stuff like that with some nice stitching on it i'll show you the back of the box i don't really like the box that much because it's kind of kind of plain obviously it's uh promoting the no strings attached album so it says no strings attached at the bottom and it tells you that it contains one six and a half inch marionette with a display stand and picture of joey on the on the side here and yeah so that's pretty much it the box is pretty plain and straight to the point because you know i don't really think they're meant to stay in the box they're meant to come out so they're marionette style at all so they have strings as you can see in there and then they have a little um thing so you can hold on to it i'll show like the each doll but then i'll open at least one of them so we can like look at it more closely so next we have justin here who is most people's favorite he's definitely my personal favorite but you know i think everybody has their own favorite if you guys uh want you can definitely let me know in the comments your favorite in sync um singer or member whichever one you want to say but yeah so here's justin um he's wearing his outfit is green but it has like blue um like shift to it so i really like that he has a white undershirt um i'm actually really really not a huge fan of these outfits in all honesty um instinct has worn some really like interesting things over the years but this one is not one of my favorite things that they've ever worn again the, the back is just the exact same and it has a picture of justin on the side um not a lot to say guys about the whole box but here's his outfit here is uh, Lance. Next, he has green and red. Still just not really a fan of these, you guys. You guys can definitely let me know in the comments if you like these outfits or not. Here's his picture on the side as well. The, back's, the back is the same. And next, we have JC, second favorite. He's wearing red and gold. So, his look outfit kind of reminds me of a pirate somehow i'm not sure why or how but he definitely is giving pirate and i'm not a huge fan of the face mold for this one it's not exactly giving jc but you know and it has this picture on the back of course and lastly we have chris and his outfit has a little bit of pink and a little bit of um maybe aquamarine is the color i want to say i don't know you guys can let me know what color this is sorry for the glare you guys obviously you know i have my ring light to keep everything as bright and then the package is pretty shiny so yeah he has a little bit of um fuchsia a little bit of like uh, aqua color and a little bit of silver sorry for the glare his picture here on the side so yeah i'm very very this is like one of my um like favorite things that i have in my collection i have um 
the NSYNC Funko Pops as well. And then I have these NSYNC number one fan Barbie. Uh, I'll show you guys that at one point. My thing about some of the dolls, like if I'm showing, I don't necessarily want to take them out of the box. So it's like, it would be kind of boring to just show a video of that. But anyway, we'll take, uh, I'll leave Joey in the box. I was going to take him out, but I'm actually going to take Chris out. So let's go ahead and get that open. All right, so... I'm not really a like keep every doll in the box kind of collector like I usually like especially if it all comes in a doll stand I just like to put them on display because how else are you supposed to see like their outfit and everything you know? Alright so here he is uh still in the plastic let's take him out slowly wow very flimsy but wasn't expecting that Alright so here he is out of the box he has a little bit of like wiring right here to help keep him um like attached or whatever to the piece that he's in I'll try to get that up all right you guys so i have uh i got the little plastic from wrapped around him and you know i'm not even gonna lie i don't know how to put this together so i have you know obviously and also i definitely don't know how to work a marionette so um yeah <laughs> i don't know what to do with that but so he has more pieces that come in there they have this little star that has his name on it i think that's part of the stand like i think um i don't know i'll figure out how to put it together once i figure out how to put it together i'll show you guys and it has all the pieces i still haven't decided yet if i'm even opening them like for real so that's why i haven't taken all the pieces out but we can look at them up close so we can see that if you guys want to so he has their bodies are like super super floppy it seems like they're uh let's see i don't know how many joints they have definitely at the shoulder but at the elbow as well it's actually i think a little bit yeah it's at the elbow as well and definitely like their feet are their knees and then at the hip that way obviously you can have like better control so i don't really know how to work this and what to do but it seems like a pretty fun toy to have i don't know i wouldn't actually play with this i would just leave, leave it on the shelf or whatever but i think it's pretty cool i definitely love their outfits like how, like it's three layers of color like it's pants he has an under uh vest as well so i don't like the style of it but i like the detail if you will his little shoes so yeah it's just a fun um piece to have in your collection and everything like that so i'll have to look up how you like set up the stand and everything because that will also like go into if i want to take them all out or not because if the stand looks pretty cool like to have them all on display then i'll go ahead and do that but if you guys have this doll or any of these or all of them definitely let me know in the comments if you do because um yeah i think they're a fun part to have in your collection if you really really like in sync and i definitely do i had ordered the um bigger ones that they have in the um bye 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 video but um i don't know what happened the seller so I, I, there was a bid i won the bid and um everything like that and this i noticed after a couple of days that the seller hadn't uh, shipped it yet so i got in contact with them and they had something personal going on which uh so they didn't end up sending it to me i ended up getting a refund which is fine but i just really really wanted the dolls because there were only the there were only five dollars when i won the bid but the shipping was like fifteen dollars so ultimately it was around a little over twenty dollars for like the whole set they were in the box which to me was fine because those i would want out of the box because they're closer to the size of barbies so i really really wanted those so i'm gonna have to try to find them again anyway you guys that's pretty much it uh thank you guys so much for watching definitely uh if you like this video definitely go ahead and give me a like if you are interested in other doll content definitely consider hitting the subscribe button i post at least three videos each week with uh vintage barbie some newer dolls like rainbow high and stuff like that and sometimes just other random dolls that i might think you guys might find interesting so if that sounds interesting to you definitely go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video